Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, I am Tung, and today I am going to edit your Fujifilm RAW files. I haven't done this before. Uh, this is something that I always wanted to do. I'm always curious to see what other Fuji photographers uh, shoot out there. Again, I'm going to edit uh, <laughs> your shots, and I posted on Instagram stories, and I also posted on the YouTube community tab for you guys to send me in your RAWs. And a handful of you did and I am so appreciative about about it because I honestly thought no one's gonna send me in their raw files but thank god they started they started to come like later out later on that week and we got a few here a mix of everything that I wanted so there's a lot of you guys that watches my video that shoots a little bit of everything which is great because I thought because I shoot portraits I was only gonna get portrait photographers so <laughs> Uh, we got a again a variety of uh, different types of photos out here, so it's great to see. Yeah, we're going to we we are going to get started right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six photos we can we can edit, and I'm just going to like zip through this because we don't want to spend more than a few minutes on each photos because a few minutes times six is going to add up. So here we go. These photos I got are like really really good so thank you for t sending in like great great shots it's freaking amazing we're gonna start with Tiwa Korn sent me in uh, this photo this was shot I believe this was shot with the 16 to 80 if I'm not mistaken it's just a picture of you know the beautiful snow with the sun I don't know if the sunrise or sunset but it looks freaking amazing and you know there's clouds right here with all the textures and the first thing I like to do is pull down the highlights whenever there's a sunshot, sunset or golden hour photos. You get to see when you pull back the highlights you get to see more details in the background here. When it was at zero you it, it was obviously blown out so you couldn't really see what's near the horizon, past the horizon and then you got all these like background mountains back here and look at all these this detail right here. So that's why you pull it back and then I'm just going to you know do my thing and then you guys can follow along and I'm gonna try my best to explain what I'm doing okay so let's go first thing is uh, pull back the highlights I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow to get it going and then pull back some contrast I like to crush my blacks a little bit let's see how far this can go okay boom and then what else is there we can add a little clarity if we want gonna gonna make my s curve there we go with the s curve i like mine to be a little contrasty so i like to pull it down a little bit further back so you get like a rich kind of image in your shots there's a lot of blues in the shadows here I'm just going to desaturate that a little so that it looks white and then we can brighten up the blues to make it more white and then usually around this time I would just play with the colors in the, the hue saturation tab so I'm just going to dabble in the colors to make it more me you know so um, I'm a fan of golden hour and I'm always changing my my orange slightly to the red and then my yellow slightly to the orange so I can get that golden fiery look. So this is what we're going to do right now, okay? So let's do that. I think we got good balance. I'm gonna move up the purple a little bit and let's see what else I could do. I am going to add a mask. Well, nope, that's not a mask. Where the hell is the mask? Ah, right here. Okay, cool. Select sky. Let's see how Wow, this new thing is so good. I never used this before, so that was pretty dope. But we're gonna go in here and we're going to, let's see, darken the sky a little bit, pull back the highlights a little more so it becomes a little more moody and you get a little bit more drama into this. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. Let's do that. Fuck yeah. Why not? And then let's see. Black shadows. And at this point, you know, this is artistic liberty right now. I'm just going to do my thing. Let's see what I can get. Hmm, that looks dope. I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation. 
There's no such thing as too much saturation. Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Just a little bit. And then let's see what we got. Bow, bow. That's dope. Okay. And then we can... You know what? Let's make it warm and fiery because that's what I like. And now the picture is coming alive, which is what I like. And we're going to create a new mask and we're going to do add a gradient to the snow. We just want the focus to be on that streak of light and the fiery skies. So what I'm going to do is add the gradient and I'm just going to bring down the exposure just a smidge. Yeah, like that. And then let's see. How's that? Wow. And then this is a radial filter. Give me a radial filter. Radial gradient? Hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. It's called a gradient now. Clearly, I haven't used the updated Adobe Lightroom in a very long time, so I'm just learning this on the spot right now. And they got some pretty cool features. Okay, we're going to uh, brighten up the sky a little more. Let's see what, what we can do. I'm just gonna add more warmth to it, and then I'm just gonna add just a smidge of highlights so that, that this sun ray and sunlight is the focal point and that's where your eye is drawn to and then i think we can add a little bit of texture let's change the film simulation see what we can get classic chrome that looks dope too eterna pro neg pro neg standard provia provia looks dope and what else is there velvia yeah velvia is not doing it Let's see, standard or Adobe color. I am going to use standard. I think uh, I really like using Fujifilm uh, film simulation and standard looks really good on landscapes. I tend to use that a lot for my landscapes. And then we're just going to add some sharpening. Let's see, where do we want it? Right about there, mask out everything. I like to add my sharpening at 60. Horizon levels check. And if you want, you know, you can add a little vignette in there. We are almost done. And this is where you can add your special sauce, this color grading tab. And I like to have orange, warm midtones, and then my shadows is tend to be on the cool side. Some of you guys know that as orange and teal but me i try to be very subtle with it just enough to bring some life into the images whenever i do edit so what i'm going to do is find a mid-tone that i really like find a color that mix well so usually this is what i would do i would find the color i'm, I'm looking for a color that will complement uh the fiery sky and i think that looks good and i'm gonna pull it back pull it back right here right there let's see how that looks blue oh yeah subtle very 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 subtle and then i am going to go in here and then look for the blues that will complement kind of like this blue what i'm going to do Pull it back a little, pull it back, pull it back. Let's see how that looks. Yes, please. So a little bit of blue is in the shadow. You can see it makes uh, the image looks, feels cool, but then we also have the fiery sky. So there's like a, a sort of like a balance going on right now. Cool, that looks dope. And then you can bring this down just to crunch it up a little, just get that contrast. And then for my highlights, Let's see what's good. What is good? And honestly, this is what I do all the time with every image. Like no images are the same, so it depends on my mood and how I'm feeling. I like This is all up to you as the artist and your artistic liberty. So you can take it wherever you want it. This is how I do it, okay? Go here. 
There we go. Boom. And what else is there? And I think that's it. Maybe add a little crop to make it more, I don't know, to make it more impactful so you can see the sun more. And I like to have my, have my stuff in rule of thirds. The house right in the middle, we got this ship, this boat on a third. And we also have this bush right here in the center of that side. And let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks a lot better. Boom, that is it. I am going to export this. And that's one done. Thanks so much, Teal Corn. But yeah, this is a great shot. So thank you for submitting this in. What do you guys think of uh, Teal Corn? Let me know what you think of this shot. Leave me a comment in, down below. And yeah, thank you so much for submitting. Let's keep it moving. Uh, next up.